Okay, we're in uh, Sawcats and with James. We're just going to take the uh, the rally out for some circuits and see how we get on. So this is the weather. It's a uh, Friday, so let's see how we get on. James hasn't flown a Sakata for a little while, so we've just been out and done some uh, general handling. And now we're uh, into the circuit and um, we're going to do some touch and goes. The issue we have today is that we've got the gliders and they're not using the grass, they're using the hard runway. So we've now got to uh, keep an eye out for the gliders as when they land on the hard runway they tend to stay there for a little while while they clear the runway. So we have to uh, be mindful of that when uh, we're doing our touch and goes. Dorcats is a French only speaking airfield. We have our basic French, but as of today, with the gliders, if uh, you don't understand French very well, that could have uh, been a problem for English only speaking uh, pilots. So it's always good to have a basic French when uh, you're flying in France. So we're looking out for the gliders and uh, I'm just going through some basic coaching on uh, this aircraft's handling at the speeds to put the flaps in and uh, the speeds that the aircraft likes to land. These Sakotas have great visibility. You tend to sit up in the cabin and as you can see we've got the panoramic view and you can see the wing mirror and that's used for when we do glider towing in these aircraft. This aircraft's been used for glider towing and in the summer months it goes off banner towing along the Spanish coast. So the last time I flew one of these aircraft was probably about 12 years ago and we had one when I was doing my PPL. So as you know every aircraft has its own little foibles so I just wanted to have a little play with the aeroplane, get used to how it handles and, um, and then do a couple of circuits. Going base and then into final, uh, these aircraft are very easy to fly, they're very forgiving. So we're on final now and the aircraft sits. If you look to the right hand side you'll see the slats and um, when you fly these aircraft um, perfectly when you cross the threshold the slats should deploy and then you can do a perfect uh, landing. And these aircraft are stall aircraft so you can land on a dime. So it took me quite a while to kind of adjust the speed here and get used to uh, the uh, the performance of the aircraft, particularly on final when you're waiting for the slats to pop out. So it's just a, another specific thing for this aircraft to kind of get used to. 
The slats then deployed just as James was uh, coming to the ground. It's um, you should really get them deployed as uh, you get over the threshold. I'm a little left of the centre line on this one, so I should probably try and do it a bit better next time. So I've jumped here to our next uh, final so we can uh, see this landing. Keep an eye to the right and watch when the slats come out. So uh, the reason we had to go around here was because there, was, uh, there were gliders at the end of the hard runway that hadn't yet been removed and there was also another aircraft waiting on the threshold for takeoff. So uh, it was a bit tight so we decided to go around with a little offset to the right just so we could keep the other aircraft in, uh, in view as we, uh, as we did the go around. We've turned early in the circuit to avoid the um, aircraft that's taken off. It just passed under uh, on our right hand side. Watch for the slat to deploy on the right hand side. So this is full flap uh, landing and this aircraft lands at 57 knots. The slats deploy at 58 knots. This is our next approach. The slats deployed perfectly at the right time, aircraft landed perfectly. So uh, James is all uh, signed off to fly this aircraft and uh, the good thing about this aircraft is you can slide the canopy back and uh, especially in the summer, lets the cool air in. And that's James who's completed uh, his safety check for this aircraft. So it was very nice to get back into uh, flying this classic uh, French aeroplane, reminded me a lot of uh, all the fun I had when I was doing my PPL training in France uh, almost 12 years ago. Let me play among the stars, let me see what spring is like on.